G'day, Hayden VK7 Double H here, and in this video, we're going to describe and uh, have a look at the SG Lab 1296 uh, transverter and the matching uh, PA, uh, 25 watt PA, that's uh, also sold by SG Lab. Now, uh, these are a very uh, cost effective way of getting on uh, the microwave bands, uh, the, well, the first microwave band at 1296, um, also. Technically not uh, microwave, more high UHF, but commonly known as the, the entry level of the microwave bands. So what we've got here is um, the uh, transverter box, uh, quite a small small unit, um, sort of palm of the, palm of the hand. And um, I've uh, created some labels here which uh, make uh, the connections of the box uh, rather easy. I'll just turn that uh, away from the light so it's a little bit easier to see. So uh, we start off uh, these, uh, the 1296 unit uses a 144 meg uh, IF, so you can use any radio you've got. You can use a handheld, you could use uh, your, uh, your FT817, uh, you can even use your, uh, your base rig, but the maximum input that this will handle is 5 watts, so you must make sure that you don't uh, exceed that. Uh, there's a couple of LEDs on the, uh, on the box. Uh, we can see that the, uh, the top one's uh, uh, an input power LED, and uh, there's an output SWR LED as well, which uh, lights from, uh, it's a tricolour LED, lights from red, uh, green and orange to indicate uh, what's going on there. Uh, there's also a hard PTT line, so you can actually take the PTT line out of your radio and wire it straight in there. Uh, these uh, units also have RF detect as well, they will uh, will run off that. 10 meg uh, input, so you can... Uh, lock these to an external reference. They do have an internal reference in them. Uh, to run off 12 volts. Uh, they actually have a split. You can split off the receive line to these units uh, to run uh, uh, an amplifier, um, to drive an amplifier out of the, uh, the transmit port here and uh, via an external relay. And then have you receive obviously on the other side of the relay. However, they do have an internal relay in them which will uh, uh, switch between receive and transmit on this port. There's a little jump you need to change in there for that. And the PA is a neat little device. It's actually got a nice little uh, printed block diagram on the, uh, the cover. You can see here you've got uh, uh, your antenna, um, 1296 antenna, um, power on the side. This particular amplifier ha also has an LNA uh, inbuilt into it with an internal uh, coax switch. Uh, again, like the transverter, it's got a receive and transmit port uh, using the inbuilt relay, or it does have a split receive uh, receive port, so you can bypass that uh, that relay and uh, and and a couple of LEDs for for telling what's going on. So what we'll go and do is we'll go and open up the transverter box, which is just four screws, nice little metal case. We take the cover off and we can see uh, we've got some adjustment pots for uh, receive gain and uh, transmit uh, output, uh, uh, sorry, transmit input uh, attenuation. And we've got a jumper here for the uh, 10 meg uh, to use external and internal reference and we've also got a range of IFs that we can use uh, by setting, setting these jumpers here. So they're quite, uh, quite good units. I've had quite a few contacts with them. So um, yeah, definitely uh, consider getting one if you want to get active on uh, 1296 uh, fairly, uh, fairly easily. All right, 73 for now. Hit the uh, like button or uh, subscribe if you'd like this content. And until uh, next time.